Morning! Me and Andy today. M's off at college and I've actually remembered. First, get that mixer going. With an eye meter and get that mix started. I'll let the winner of this know a little bit later. The popcorn weight challenge that we had yesterday. There it all is. We will just add a little bit of that popcorn in uh, to the mix. Probably 200 kilos to the 10 ton mix. So just gradually increase it a little yeah, bit. I think you've bunged it up. I think. But um, yeah, it's pretty much to. No, it's pretty much there. <clears throat> uh, it's up to you. I think it's stuck though. I just get it out. A long time since you bunged it up, Andy. Yeah. You Months. It up. You bugged it up the weekend. <laughs> is, that, oh, is that what it is? <clears throat> We're gonna get bar. It's the most unpleasant job in our repertoire, really, isn't it, Andy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think, um, do you want me to go and get the bar then? We just bar it round usually. The right thing, in, as soon as it bungs up, just stop and try and unbung it. Don't try and hit that PTO again and give it another blast because it'll just make it 10 times harder to get it out. <clears throat> so it's a bit of a pain, but um, we'll get through it. It's all right. It's got the big bar on. We're just prizing that round. Try and get it to a. I think if you put it through, will it go through like above, Andy? Yeah. Like that bar? Yeah. Yeah, but I'll go over to the right and then go in there to catch on to it. No. Right, oh, you have to do it from below then. Yeah. I know what I'm doing here, Andy, because I've done it too many times. It's just like a carbon brick, and trying to get it off is difficult, very difficult. And you've got these everywhere, which are very, very sharp. <laughs> and you have to get your hand in. There is, a, there is a, a little cover that you can get out, but there's no cover where this paddle is um, to make it any easier, so to do it this way. Andy have swapped now because my hand was getting tired. Any, any better, Andy? No. Still a nightmare. <laughs> Andy and my dad have fucked off and left me unblocking it. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Love this farming game. <laughs> so I've finally done it. It's spinning round and finally wood. got there. Get my big bar out. Weighs a ton. And uh, Andy can carry on straw blowing. Sorry, right, Andy, I've sorted it for you, lad. Don't worry, buy me a pint. He's back now. <laughs> now I've done it. Do I take the bar? Yeah, you can take the bar off me. Hold my beer, Andy. Hold my beer. <laughs> so we're back at it now. Went through nicely that last veil, didn't it, Andy? Lovely jubbly. Yes, yeah, so Andy's getting it blown in now. Trouble free. Very unusual for him to bump it up. He's got some long straw at the end. It's short in the bottom. Yeah. Farming the 
there's always something there to uh, to test you and make the day a little bit different <laughs> with that thing bunging up but glad we're back on it now well i've absolutely excelled myself with spilling it today done a fantastic job anybody want to try a coffee one or two out it's nice and clean don't have to clip much off that one having a plate how are we all doing fellas so i've just had my dinner and i've got to wash the lorry out and i think we're going to put the hedge cutter on the 125 can't feel the washing jam so the wagon's all cleaned out now and we clean it every single time that we have cattle in there and that's one because it's easier to wash it out every single time because stuff don't get stuck on the sides. Uh, it just makes it a quick and easy job. Um, and two, just biosecurity. So if there's any cattle that have been in there and for whatever reason they've got a bug or a virus or something like that, at least when we wash it out, the next group of cattle that go into there aren't picking that um, virus up. So new cattle that come in aren't mixing with the older ones because um, we keep them apart from the other cattle when they uh, come on to farm. So yeah, all uh, ready to be shut up now and job done. Sandy's just getting backed up to the hedge cutter. We'll get that put on. And then hopefully we might be able to get off hedge cutting later today. Let's see how it goes. That's it, Andy's got it on. I think he's just going to give the tractor a bit of a blast off so he can actually see what he's doing. And then he can get off hedging. Andy's cleaning services. Andy has gone off in his nice clean tractor to just do a field of stubble actually because it's easier to get into and he's only going to be there a few hours this afternoon. So I think what I'm going to do now is get some bales off his trailer and set them all up here with the 9 metre. It's nice to see all these guys eating. These are a lot of the new cattle. Hello fellas. Uh, we're just checking the back of the pen. Make sure everything looks happy. We're all alright guys. As we should always do. Although we've got one laid down at the back there. But I know he's happy. Just chewing his cud. But if he wasn't, I'd get go in there and I'd get him up. See if he's stretched. See if he's looking like he might be breathing heavy. But they're all looking good. I think that's probably down to the weather. Um, we've got a nice breeze, so any bits of pneumonia and things like that are getting blown out of the sheds. Um, we've not got massive swinging of temperatures. It's not like really hot than really cold, which seems to bring on cases of pneumonia. Um, so yeah, everything's really, really good at the minute. Can't remember the last time we actually had to inject a beast. And we've had a lot of new cattle in recently. So that's great, isn't it? The vaccine's obviously working. Yeah, happy. Trouble free. These guys have been here a bit longer, still quite new. Got some cementals in here, limousine, that brown and white one there. Hereford, the red and white one. All the black ones are Angus. Eating hay. Oh, and it looks like my brother's here in his discovery that breaks down all the time so i'll go and see him see what he's got to say oh he's just gone so it's time to let you know who won the popcorn weight and it was kieran agorman well done you did a cracking job you were 120 kilos off uh, kieran said eight ton and it was actually eight ton 120 kilos so one eight ton and 120 kilos of nightmare stuff 
uh, <laughs> as I would call it. I mean, it would have been fine if it was all just maize kernels, then it wouldn't have been an issue at all. But um, just that flour that was in there with that water. <sighs> oh my God, never having that again. <laughs> Good guess there, Kieran. Well done, mate. Congratulations. You win nothing, but you get a shout out. <laughs> I'm tight, I'm from Yorkshire, you know, I'm not going to give away things. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to have a little walk around the cattle, just to make sure that everything is okay. Um, do this every time I feed them, when I'm looking out of the JCB, but I've got some time to kill because I'm waiting for my dad to get back, um, or Andy, one of the two, um, because... Uh, yeah, they're both out and I need them to open gates for me. So I'm fed everywhere that I can. Like these guys here, they're all fed. And these guys here are fed as well. They're all looking all right. I just love these Aberdeen Angus cattle. Look at these here. Hey, how you doing, mate? Do you want a piece? You're not as bothered as your friend. <laughs> He's not bothered, is he? But this one's like... Real good lad, aren't you? Hey, eh? oh, you're a real good lad. Mm. Oh, caught my hand then, the little... You little bugger. You didn't mean to, did you? It's just getting a bit playful. So I think he knows that I put some new overalls on today and that's why he's uh, deciding to try and eat my overalls. Which is brilliant, get cow slaver all over them. I don't mind. I don't mind. Do we? We don't mind. I've not got much to do at the minute, so I'm waiting for my mum to come out and open the gates for me. Uh, so Andy's out. Um, hedge cutting. My dad's out at a meeting. So, I just gets time to spend with you guys, don't I? Eh? Nice. Lovely. It's a lovely bullock. Oh yeah. Lovely. So, just as we're leaving today, because Andy's put the 125 on the edge trimmer, we've had to use a 6.9 to put on the straw blower but Andy's come to uh, start it up and we are PTO without function brilliant so what I've done is took the PTO switch off and that works in the 7.5 right, so that engages and disengages so this switch works basically so it's not that that's a problem I have selected gears on here Put it in neutral, gone outside, very easy to turn. Jump back inside, select to the gear, jump back outside, definitely select to the gear because I can't turn it. And you can hear it clicking in. So, what is it? I remember something about one of these switches here, but. Andy's took that off and put that back in and it seems to have worked all right. Just, you've just disconnected the terminals, haven't you, at the top, that's all. But whether or not it's something in there, I don't know. So I know somebody said they are a problem sometimes. So I think we found the problem, don't we, Andy? Yeah. It's the button on the outside. I don't know how it's possible, but it's been depressed. I'm, I'm getting a bit depressed about it, really. <laughs> I'm getting depressed about John Deere's. Andy wants a massive. Mm. So yeah, we've got to try and get this out now. Oh, that's it, Andy. It's coming out. You got it. I saw it move then. Mm -hmm. Try that. Yeah, try it, I reckon. Give that a try. Success. Try it. Ah, business. Massive thank you to everyone on TikTok that got involved and commented. Um, saying what they thought it would be wrong with the 6930 really helped um especially those that said um about the button on the back of the mudguard because it's what it was as you can see uh just a simple thing like that but uh saved me having to call out ripping farm services which 
which is what we would have had to do. Um, so yeah, I think that's great. Like farmers helping farmers, just fantastic. Like just sharing the knowledge. That's what it's all about. Keep it up. So that's about it from me today, folks. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, love farming, remember to subscribe because it really helps small channels like ours grow our audience and get our message out about farming being a great industry to work in. So, yep, yeah, and we'll be back tomorrow. See you later.